Whatever makes you stand before your helper intimidated, it means you were not prepared before you stood before them. Whatever makes you intimidated before kings, it means you went there unskilled. May it not happen to you that men who are supposed to reward you, they will now see you unfit for the reward. Ah, may it not happen to you, sir. It was God's servant, Apostle Femi Lazarus, that was sharing the story. He said that one of his boys, all right, he went for an interview. He was a graphics designer. And then during the interview, they gave the, a graphics design copy to him. Criticize the design. That was what they told him. Criticize this design. And he now remembered Apostle's teaching that you cannot criticize what you have not commended. That it is wrong to criticize what you have not commended. So before you criticize, commend first. So he now remembered that message. So before he actually said anything at all about the design, he celebrated his designer, spoke good about the design. He said, my God, can you check the color blend? Look at the contrast. Come on, look at the contours. Can you imagine what an excellent person? Ha! Not knowing that the person who made the design was actually the boss. Then the man looked at him. He said, come and resume on Monday. I found my man already. Kai. Some things don't come by fasting and prayer. He, you know, he must have fasted before that time. But lack of skill will have aborted his fasting and prayer. So how many seasons have you aborted because you were unskilled? How many seasons? How many glory? How many goodies could have come to you if you were skillful with that spirituality? I know you can you have the prophetic anointing. But then, have you added skill to it? The Bible says that a man who is lazy, he will not be able to stand before kings. The only people he will stand before are mean men. So there are two classes of men. Number one, kings. Number two, mean men. It means that an unskilled man will stand before mean men, but a skilled man will stand before kings. It means that what you need to stand before kings is more than fasting and prayer. You need to be skillful and diligent. Jesus said that my father worketh it at home, and I work also. He said, I walk because the night cometh that no man will be able to walk anymore. It means that even Jesus, he had that diligence to the anointing. It means that if you want to actually produce unimaginable results, that anointing upon your life, you must add diligence to it. It is now that you can walk. Is it when you are now old that you will not be able to do anything again? That's when you want to start working. When you ought to be reaping, you will now be laboring. If you don't want to labor, when you ought to be harvesting, labor now. The Bible says the glory of the youth is in their strength. And the beauty of the aged is in their gray hair. It means that harvest should be coming to you when you are old. You should not be laboring when you are old. If you start laboring when you are old, it means that you missed a season. So if you want to define diligence, all right, you have to define it as an intentional habit to become skillful and more experienced in what you do. The discipline, the fortitude to keep working on yourself till you become skillful and experienced at what you do. This is the word diligence. So don't tell me you are diligent if you are not skillful. You show me how diligent you are by how skillful you have become. Is it making sense to somebody at all now?